Splenda has become wildly popular among dieters and sadly diabetics too, mainly because it has zero calories and doesn't affect blood sugar. However, Splenda has its share of controversy. An animal study shows that Splenda reduces the amount of good bacteria in the intestines by 50%. Splenda also increases the pH level in the intestines and contributes to increases in body weight. This same study also showed that Splenda affects a specific protein in the body in such a way that crucial health-related drugs like chemotherapy or AIDS drugs might pass through your system unabsorbed. That's a very serious side effect. So if you're taking any kind of medication, I advise steering well clear of Splenda. Splenda has also been linked with migraine headaches, and animal studies of this sweetener have suggested such problems as anemia, male infertility, brain lesions, kidney disorders, miscarriages, and even a higher death rate in our rabbits. While we're on the topic, let me address the not-so-good old high fructose corn syrup. It's not breaking news that regular soda is loaded with high fructose corn syrup, as are nearly all packaged foods. However, it doesn't seem to stop the millions of people from eating this stuff despite its dangers. Thanks to the media attempting to make high fructose corn syrup seem like no big deal, the fact is this product is even more deadly than regular sugar. Research shows that a diet high in fructose leads to overeating, and that leads to obesity and an increased risk of diabetes heart disease, gout, metabolic syndrome, and liver damage. I bring this up because with all the diet talk, beware of labels that say no sugar added. Look at the ingredient list of any packaged foods you buy for words that end in OSE or OL. These are signs of high fructose corn syrup. I'm Dr. Fred Pescatori.